We're in Moosonee, Ontario, which is uh, uh, just on the tip of James Bay. Uh, very remote parts of Canada, very cold in the month of November, extreme weather conditions. Moosonee is our starting point in terms of developing our platform for remote communities. We're approximately two and a half hours by air uh, north of Toronto. We're very excited to be here at Moosonee and Moose Factory. We've been doing testing for our drone delivery platform. Yesterday, we flew from Moosonee to Moose Factory, which was approximately 1.5 nautical miles of distance. When we were about to start flying, the, uh, the weather changed considerably, big gusts of winds, very cold temperatures. The goal really was just to uh, integrate into the community, show them our technology, show them how the technology can help them. I'm proud to say that we successfully achieved our mission. First Nations people in this part of the country, and probably for other First Nations as well, is that the process of maintaining identity, of maintaining your culture, is an evolution. It's always ongoing. And as far as the question as it relates to being innovative in technology, being aware of the technology, absolutely, of course. You know, that we as a people, that we are not static, we're not stuck in 1905 or, you know, 1900 or whatever. You know, we're, a, we're an evolving nation as well, like any other nation on this planet. That we have hopes, dreams, aspirations, and as, as humanity evolves into what area it, it, it discovers, absolutely, we're gonna be there. Well, living, like I said, in the north um, certainly has its challenges for sure. I mean, uh, the high cost of living is something that um, people have kind of gotten used to, but we pay you know, up to two times as much uh, compared to our, our neighbours in the south. Really, when we start uh, opening their eyes and opening up uh, discussion, looking at alternate options and uh, new innovative technologies like drone, is certainly um, something that has to be considered. Today, these communities are utilizing a variety of different means of transport, whether they're utilizing boats, uh, water taxis, or they're using helicopters. These are the means that they're utilizing to move products back and forth. But what we're finding is it is very slow, it is very expensive to do so, and very cumbersome at best. With our technology, it ultimately is just in time, it's immediate, and it's very, very cost effective. When we went to Moose Factory and, uh, and we met the community members in this environment, in this climate, uh, in the challenges of just uh, getting there logistically, we really realized firsthand how this technology can really improve their lives. Because we're on an island, we have an added level of isolation, I guess you could say. Ice is starting to form and the boats are still out there and I don't really particularly like this time of year, but access is going to be an issue. It's always an issue twice a year. For us because we're island people so access and being able to say hey bring this to me right now i got a delivery at thunder air bring it to me i need it now anything medical then yeah absolutely that's why we've agreed to the partnership and agreed to the testing of the drone uh, delivery system so we're open to it right we want to see we want to see if it's going to work and help us and really when you look at this environment and you look at our technology there's a solution here where we can improve people's lives immediately uh, utilizing drones. It's uh, just-in-time access. Whether the river is frozen or not, uh, our testing has achieved very positive results and we see a, a positive impact to the society. Being utilized in different capacities like um, health services or an emergency services, um, those type of things. You know, heaven forbid that an emergency situation comes up where they need a defibrillator or medicine or something that needs to be delivered, you know, right away. And sometimes it takes a few hours to get a helicopter to kind of dispatched, right? So if, if uh, the drone can play a part in that, in ensuring the, the fast, efficient delivery of those kind of emergency materials or services, then it saves a life. I mean, then that right there kind of pays for itself, right? Uh, because the value of saving somebody's life is ultimate, right?
Drone Delivery Canada. Innovation is taking flight.